What's up guys, how is it going? I hope everything is well in your world. Uh, today we're gonna be diving into a site template that I created specifically for general contractors, at least that's who I had in mind when I was setting it all up. Um, and the reason why I created one for general contractors is because a lot of the people I talk to just don't have websites at all. They just don't have time to create websites. They, there's, there's always a, usually a time constraint somewhere to at least learn how to do it or um, have someone do it for them or they don't wanna pay someone to do it. There's a ton of reasons why, but um, I wanna make it as easy as possible for you to have some sort of direction if you're ready to actually create your own sites or get one up and running um, for your contractor business or construction business, really. Anything service related can actually use this template, but again, general contractors are the ones in mind here as, as we go throughout this. All right, um, now as a precursor to this, I wanna mention that this site right here is built on ClickFunnels 2.0. And there is a link to actually grab the site template, everything. If you want to just drag and drop and, and, and have this as your own, um, feel free to go down below. There's there's a link in the description and in the comment section if needed. Um, and it's totally free. I'm not charging for it. It is a free template, uh, this right here. It's the exact template, actually. I'm, I'm giving this whole thing to you for free. Um, and a course on how to actually use and implement this within the platform, how, how to make sure everything's set up properly. I walk through the entire platform itself, how everything is used, um, give you a direct line of communication if you have any questions, all the good stuff. So again, totally free. It's gonna be down below if you would like to grab this for yourself, okay? Otherwise, with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the actual platform itself. For this site design, I went with more of a minimalistic, um, modern feel and design. And the reason behind this is because when I was doing research for the actual site build, I found that a lot of general contractor websites were either out of dates or they were hard to navigate through. There was just too much going on. Um, it was a little confusing to get to the actual end goal, which is for them to reach out to you for a project, right? That was the whole point. The only thing that you want here in this case is for your website to be a lead generating machine. We want people to be able to reach out at any point and for you to seamlessly be able to communicate with them without any issues, okay? So with that all in mind, I made this just a one page site, it's very simple, it's to the point. We have an FAQ section, we have a project section to showcase past projects, images that people might wanna see that will um, showcase your brand in a high, high end manner, right? We wanna make sure that we are showing you off as best as possible. Um, to kind of weed out any questions people might have, all right? Feedback, we want, definitely wanna show testimonials for past projects, contest, to contact us section, which is obviously very important. We wanna make sure people can contact us without any issues um, and make it as easy as possible to do so. All right, in the FAQ section, we definitely wanna have something like this in place. So that way, if anybody has any questions or concerns, we can hopefully uh, get, get ahead of that before people actually reach out, right? Um, this is gonna be the last point that people will actually end up before actually going to contact us. If they have sitting questions, they'll go and see if anything is answered there specifically and bump right back up to the contact us section. Um, that's it, we, again, we, the whole goal of this is we're pointing to contact us, all right? So with that in mind, let's go ahead and scroll through the site here. All right, at the very top here, we have the hero section. We have like a, just a button leading to the contact us section. Below that we have the services provided, a little bit uh, about the actual business, your business in this case, if this is what you're trying to create. Um, below that we have our projects, which is again, just a showcase or a reel of past work that we've done and that we're actually proud of. We want people to see and um, stuff that presents you in the best light possible, All right? Another button here leading to the uh, contact us section. All right, moving down, we have testimonials, which are super important. A lot of people definitely need, if you can get uh, videos in this at all, that's preferable. <laughs> a lot of people um, do like video testimonials a lot more uh, just because it's easier to resonate and it, it just, it does a lot more for your site overall, okay? Uh, but anyways, we have a testimonial section right here. We also have a link that we can uh, connect directly to Google Maps or uh, Yelp, wherever you prefer to keep your reviews or have people actually review you on. Uh, that is definitely useful right here. All right, moving down, we have the process of which someone can expect when they wanna work with you, right? The actual process it will take or that you'll take them through uh, from the point of them reaching out for a project to uh, an actual plan or, or a project being completed, right? Moving down, we have a section here that's mainly pointed towards getting people to, again, move down to the contact us section, but just really let them know that if they have any questions, reach out to us, we are here to help. We have a specialist on standby, um, all that type of stuff that will 
help them uh, be at ease to reach out. That's all it is. We're trying to make sure there's no questions about it. It's super easy. They can move forward without any issues. Um, and it's, there's no uh, there's no commitment. You can just reach out and ask questions. That's okay. Moving down, we have the why choose us, right? So again, like your ratings, how long you've been in business. Uh, if you have a, a BBB rating right here, I would honestly link it directly here if you had that. Um, any, your satisfaction review, right? <laughs> Stuff like that. Moving down, we have the actual contacts us section. This is where the magic actually happens. Uh, we have every form imaginable or needed here for a sp specific project or get to the, the, the ball rolling. We have a first name, last name, email, reflection of phone number, uh, what they're actually, where they are in the process here, uh, their budget, as far as what they are looking for on this project and service desired. All right, and then any additional comments if necessary. And then that's it, they submit their information and it will show up on your side on the back end. Moving now, we have the FAQ section. This is just gonna, again, answer any resting questions or unsettled questions that people might have. Um, it's just gonna go ahead and <laughs> again, answer the question, that's it. It's the main goal. If you have any others, I would, I would just stack this thing up because the more questions you can answer up front, the easier it is when you actually get in a call to discuss projects with these customers, okay? And that's basically it, all right? So if you have any questions about anything specific on this site or any of these sections, let me know in the comments, but uh, we can go through these individually as far as how they're set up. Okay, let's go ahead and break down what's actually happening here with the navigation. So in this case, I'm just using the anchor links throughout the page, again, because it's just a one page setup here for the site, I'm trying to keep it simple, minimalistic. So as we click on each of these within navigation, it's just taking us to different portions of the page itself. Uh, if I click on projects, it's gonna take us to the project section with all the images, click on feedback, same thing. It's gonna take us to the feedback section with our testimonials. Uh, contact us, same situation, there we go. And we have another one for FAQ, all right? There it is. All right, that's basically all it is. Now, a anchor link is gonna be something that is pretty universal between any platform. Really, you're just setting up a CSS ID and then you're using a, uh, you're just calling that ID basically, or linking to that ID that you've created on the page. Now, I'm not sure what platform you're using, but if you're using, say, ClickFunnels 2.0, uh, it's fairly simple to set up and I'll just show you what is going on with that. Um, if we pull this over, I can give you a rundown. So if you go into the editor and we'll use like this one as an example, cause there's not anything set up for this. Uh, so if we go over here, go to the section itself, you can do it for a section, you can do it for a row, you can do it for an element. Anything on a page, you can technically set this up or go through this process with. Uh, just go to the little code symbol here. In this case, again, depends on what platform you're using. Uh, either way, just access the, uh, the back end of whatever section it is that you're creating there, or you have to go in and manually create a CSS ID selector. Uh, you can generate an ID, but what I like to do is just type it in over here and say, uh, we'll call this services. Right, from there, we'll go ahead and just copy it and just update. So now the uh, section itself has the ID selector as services. If we go and create like a new navigation element, doesn't matter whether it's an image, text, or the regular navigation, you can go in and just add, uh, add that new location. Go over here, um, click on the existing navigation here, and we'll just add a new item. There we go. All right, now for this guy, we're gonna go to the new link and just paste in the CSS ID selector there. Oh, I did not grab the right one. I think I just called it services. Uh, all you have to do is do uh, the little hashtag symbol there and services. All right, from there, you can go ahead and just save it. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Um, I'm gonna leave it as a new link, actually. I'll just services, right, and then you go ahead and save, and that's basically it. As long as the characters are the exact same, the it's, it is character specific, um, upper and lower case, so just make sure that you have it exactly spelled uh, spelled and, and uh, configured exactly how you set it up for the actual section or row. You don't really have to know how this is set up, I just am telling you in case you were curious. Uh, again, all it is is a CSS ID selector, and I'm just going through and attaching it to different sections on the page. Aside from the navigation links, I have a couple other links set up on a page. Uh, one is gonna be phone numbers. So these are basically just meant to make it super easy for anybody to click on it, whether you're on desktop or mobile, and have it pull up your dialer app. To do this, all you have to do is type in T-E-L is the link, T-E-L colon, and then the phone number. Without any extra characters or anything like that, just type in the actual phone number you wanna use, and it will have the same effect. So anyway, just click on that, and then you'll see inside the browser itself, it's trying to open up the FaceTime app. If I was on a actual phone, it would then try to pull up my dialer app on my phone, whether it's Android or 
um, apple, doesn't matter, it's the same, same result there. All right, another low hanging fruit that I guess I could have utilized was this guy right here for Google, the rating system. I would probably uh, connect this to the same location that I have the Google reviews over here. Oh, sorry, within testimonials right here. Uh, same area, Google Maps, Yelp, wherever you are actually pulling that information and just have it linked here. So if someone clicks on it, they are able to go to that location and check it out. Moving down, I have another one within contact us, like I said, email, same situation here. This is going to be, if someone clicks on it, it's going to try to open up your email app on your device here, whether that's specified to Gmail or um, Apple or Microsoft, wh however you manage your inbox, it's going to open up your specific app that is uh, typically used. Okay. Um, that is it for that. Now to set this up, all you have to do is mail to with a colon and then put the email address we go over here. Here we go. There we go. T-E-L. This is for the phone number. T-E-L um, colon with the phone number itself without any special characters there, just area code and the actual phone number. For the email address, it's going to be mail to colon email address. Here, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. There you go. And it doesn't matter what platform you're on. These are pretty universal. Uh, mail to colon and then your actual email address. That's pretty much it for the desktop side here. We can go ahead and scroll through on mobile as well, um, just so you can kind of get a general overview of this. Go back over here, All right? Start from the top, we have like the navigation. There we go. If I click through any of these, it's gonna take me to that specific area. There we go. This page, same functionality, just on a mobile format. Okay, scrolling down, here's what this guy looks like. Got the project section here feature to feature all the images for um, any of your best work all right uh, below that we have our testimonial section uh, underneath that we have our how we work so the whole process that someone can expect when working with you all right uh, the section here trying to get people to move forward if you have any questions reach out all that good stuff uh, and then kind of just breaking down some stats that people would be impressed by there we go all right and then to contact us and an FAQ. Same layout, just in a mobile format and optimize. There's that. Okay, FAQ. Boom. Now, aside from what you see here on the front end regarding the like the navigation, the section layout for both mobile and desktop, um, there are a couple things in the back end that are also adding to this build. Um, the first thing is going to be a follow-up email sequence that's going to essentially send an email as soon as someone reaches out or fills out the form down here within contact us, right? So they fill out their form for their project. Um, right after that, there's an email sequence that, uh, here, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Pull it over here. Uh, there's an email sequence that uh, will essentially send out an email saying, hey, thank you for your, your inquiry. We appreciate it, we'll be reaching out to you soon. Um, here is the generalized email template itself so you can see what, what uh, it looks like. Give it a second to load here. There we go. Here's the actual email itself, All right? Simple, basically just telling them what they can expect, how long it's gonna take for us to get back to them. Um, you know, when you're when we do reach out, we're probably gonna follow up with a consultation or set up a consultation, all that good stuff. Uh, basically just laying out what they can expect. Okay, here's that. Just scroll through so you can see it all. There's that. Um, okay, now that's the first portion of this automated sequence. Now then the second portion is a notification to let you know by email or directly inside the app here um, that basically this is a new contact and that we should follow up with them as soon as possible uh, just because they recently submitted this uh, this actual project, right? So anyways, this is the follow-up email step here, which essentially, or a uh, sorry, no notification email step, which is going to send out an email with all of this information listed out um, and a notification in the platform directly. Now you can set up something similar outside of ClickFunnels as well, um, using something like Zapier or Zapier um, and connecting the information to like a sheet or send out an email. There's plenty of ways to do it depending on where you're actually setting up the site and, and all this stuff. But anyways, if you're using ClickFunnels, this is what it'd look like if you want to go in and set up a notification just directly in the platform here. It'll send out an email right after this uh, to, well, two emails, one to you, one to the customer, uh, to make sure both parties are updated and kept uh, up to speed with everything. This is the first sequence. Now the second follow-up email or automated sequence I set up here is gonna be more of a post service type of thing. Just going back out of here. Um, this guy right here. Now this is mainly after getting people to 
um, lets you know how the service was. Um, you're reaching out with the first email here to check in, see how everything is going. Are they enjoying it? Um, this is that one week after. If they have any issues with the project, they'll, they can let you know. So you can go ahead and fix that. Or um, if they enjoyed it, then you're trying to get them to go over to maybe Google to review you, Yelp, wherever you want to collect email or collect um, your reviews. And the more places, the better, right? Uh, you can, you're basically just trying to get them to go and review you. Okay, so here's the first email. Here's what it would look like. Uh, and this is just a template laid out so you can have an idea as far as what to put here. There's that, there's that. Nothing too crazy. All right, so here's what the second email looks like. Um, again, just to get them to go in and review, the main way that people will interact with your business is through reviews. Uh, and not the main way, but a large percentage of people will look at the reviews before ever reaching out or checking into the services you can provide. Um, the past experiences make a big difference. So we want to encourage people to take the next step uh, without much effort on your part necessarily. You're just basically going out and, and double checking if they're good. If they are fantastic, then they uh, you want to make sure that they review while they're still happy with the final product there. All right, there is that. Now, that's basically it when it comes to this entire setup. Um, nothing too crazy. Like I said, just a one page site here with a couple of different sections laid out with everything that someone would probably um, want to see before moving forward uh, when reaching out for any service, right? Um, and then stuff on the back end, uh, I highly recommend that you have some form of, of follow-up email sequences, something to interact with the customer uh, beyond just uh, just let it sit or reach out by phone. Definitely reach out by phone, but the more touch points you can make for this whole whole project, uh, it'll make the whole thing a lot smoother in the eyes of the customer. And um, yeah, it just it will increase the customer experience 100%. Now, this site right here was built using ClickFunnels 2.0. Um, it is a all-in-one software for marketing everything, basically. Uh, you can build your websites, you can build marketing funnels, you can sell products, you can um, create calendar landing pages, basically anything you can think of at this point, you were able to do inside of this software. If you enjoy the look and feel of this specific page or uh, site rather, um, I'm actually giving it away for free. This is a template I created for general contractors in mind. Um, if you can benefit from this, I want you to have it. Please take a copy. It's I'm not charging you for it. I'm just giving it away if you need it, okay? Um, on top of that, I also created a little course that will walk you through how to make this your own, how to go in and actually adjust the font colors, how to adjust the style of the page, meaning like the font styles, the way um, the way everything looks, the changing out images, how to set up different links on the page, everything. I walk you through the A to Z process to get this template set up and ready to go inside of your workspace, connect your domain, all that good stuff. Um, and again, I'm just throwing it in there. If you need it, awesome, take advantage of it. Now, even if you don't take me up on the offer for the free template, I'm not gonna be heartbroken, that's totally okay. I'm gonna put a link for the actual page or you can even take it from the page right here. Uh, it is buildsphere.connectionalloys.com forward slash buildsphere and it'll take you to this page right here. So you can check it out. You can go and interact with it, try to recreate it on your own. Doesn't matter what software you're using. You can still try to take the aspects of the page and, and try to piece it together on your side. Uh, just so you have a, some sort of direction, all right? That's kind of the whole goal of this video is to give you some sort of direction. If you're looking for um, some sort of inspiration when it comes to your own sites, um, what could be done and all that good stuff. If you run into any snags or have questions while trying to build this out for yourself, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm, I'm happy to help at least point you in the right direction as best I can. Um, I might not know the answer, but I can point you in the right direction where you can find it, if anything. Um, or if you just want a second set of eyes when it comes to building out your own site, feel free to leave a link down below for the site you've created and I'll take a look and, and provide any feedback if necessary. On a final note, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will catch you in the next video.